May God be with you. May God bless you today. I'm going to read the story about Judas, Matthew 27. Early in the morning, all the chief priests and the elders of the people made their plans how to have Jesus executed. So they bound him, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate, the governor. When Judas, who had betrayed him, saw that Jesus was condemned, he was seized with remorse and retained the thirty pieces of silver to the chief priests and the elders. I have sinned, he said, for I have betrayed innocent blood. What is that to us? They replied, That's your responsibility. So Judas threw the money into the temple and left. Then he went away and hanged himself. The chief priest picked up the, the coins and said, it is against the law to put this into the treasure, meaning putting the money in the same uh, treasure of the temple, since it is blood money. So they decided to use the money to buy the potter's field as the burial place for foreigners. That's why it has been called the field of blood to this day. Then what was spoken by Jeremiah the prophet was fulfilled. They took the state pieces of silver, the price set on him by the people of Israel, and they used them to buy the potter's, the potter's field as the Lord commanded me. So Judas was one of the original 12 disciples of Jesus Christ and he had a responsibility. He was entrusted uh, to be the financial treasurer, the treasurer of the group. So Jesus knew Judas well. But then the Bible also says that Judas was a thief. He was using his position to enrich himself. So in this passage, Judas has the money. And then he sees Jesus being condemned to die. And he feels bad. And he gets the money that he got from the Sanhedrin, the authorities who were against Jesus, who are planning to kill Jesus, who are planning to crucify Jesus. He got the money back to them. And he says, I'm sorry that I betrayed innocent person, innocent blood. In other words, he's saying to them, I have nothing to do with this man. I did wrong. I sinned against Jesus. So the Sanhedrin said to him, we have nothing to do with this. This is your personal responsibility. But Judas left the money in the temple and ran away and hanged himself. He killed himself. So the Sanhedrin took that money and said to themselves, it's not good to get this money and be part of the temple money. It's blood money. We have to buy a field, a graveyard for foreigners. And they did. And that's according to the prophets, Jeremiah. So what do we learn about Judah's story? That what happened to Judas can happen to you, can happen to me. 
walking with Jesus and yet becoming a betrayer. Walking with Jesus and yet stabbing him at the back. Walking with Jesus and yet become an enemy of Jesus. But also we know that when you are walking with Jesus, the real enemy is the devil. The Bible says the devil entered Judas and he did what he did. So our enemy number one is the devil. How close you might be with Jesus all your life, but remember that the enemy is at work and well and always trying to deceive you, to sway you away from your master, Lord Jesus Christ. The other thing that we learn from this story is that there's nothing a surprise to God. The situation looks so bad that Judas betrayed Jesus. But you should also know that this was foretold. The prophets long time ago talked about Messiah being betrayed, being handed into the hands of sinful people. And the acts, the actions, the events around Judas were not a surprise to God. God knew it and God was in control. Whatever you're going through, it may be a worse situation in your life. But know for sure that God knows and God has the power to control that situation for his own glory. The name Judas literally means let God be praised. So God is in control and God was in control and God was praised. But that's not license for me to do bad. So God is in control of my situation. God is in control of your situation. God was in control in the situation that happened with Judas. The fact is, Judas betrayed Jesus. He kissed Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane. He revealed who Jesus was to the Sanhedrin. And they came and grabbed him. And they hanged him on the cross. And he, cook, he took the money. In other words, he loved the money to do that horrible act of betraying our Lord Jesus Christ. Be aware of what you have. Be aware of your positions. Be aware of your possessions. Use them to the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. The glory of God. Not for your own personal gain. The Sanhedrin says, we have nothing to do with you. That's your own responsibility. In other words, take care of it. Judas, we can say he should have said, Lord, or he should have said, God, I'm sorry. But he went to a Sanhedrin. I said, I have betrayed innocent blood. I'm sorry. They had nothing to do with him. They were laughing at him. So whatever you're going through, God is in control. Jesus died even for the actions that Judas did. Jesus died for me. Jesus died for you. And that's our salvation. And when he died, he rose from the dead. And that he appeared and he's coming again. And there are lots of things going on in our world right now. They look bad. They look worse than they were yesterday or last year. People are dying. Friends are dying. 
friends are sick. But also others have lost their spouse, have, have lost their uh, homes, they have lost their, uh, their jobs, they have lost their children, there are lots of things that are going on in our lives. But let me assure you, God is in control and he is with you. May God himself comfort you and let him be the Lord and the Savior of your life. And he will. May God be with you.